Hey everybody, it's me Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field, V432 Hertz, the universal frequency. So today I'm going to go over um, <clears throat> freeing yourself from uh, mental constructs. Right, Mental constructs are pretty much just mechanics of the mind which are here to constrict you um, from greater liberation. Right? Uh, liberation is just freedom, um, non-duality, and holism, oneness, until dissolution and cessation of being, uh, which is just death, right? So let's get into this. Um, so mental constructs are pretty much, once again, they're just... Uh, mechanics it can be they can be structures structurings of uh the mental body right we have uh, various different sheaths to our energetical field there's multiple uh each are vibrating at a, a certain frequency certain vibrational rate wavelength uh and each has a different form to it the mental mental constructs would just be the structuring or the constructionings of the uh, the mind, the mental body, right? Um, and there can be constructions which are constricting against the natural flow of uh, nature or nature. Just like, um, I mean, if you look around, if you just observe a lot of the way society is doing things industrially, is already uh, inhibiting the flow of nature, right, in a certain um, spectrum of its totality, right, because all is nature, but um, nature can, can uh, flow against itself, right, so then we get into the various different industrial constructs that have been built. Uh, into the mind or which is the mind because the mind is given to us it is just construct um, it's a construction it's a body right and um, well this was given to us this mind doesn't actually exist uh, whoever's telling you the mind exists doesn't actually know it because you can't know the mind uh, the mind knows not um, but this is where this is where the liberation is, right? The liberation is um, in being able to find the space within that construct, right? Because the construct is there. Uh, these are just mental entities, uh, machinery, structures. You can see it as anything, right? Um, the more you define your vision of this experientially as you immersify yourself in the constructs themselves in exploration of it is how you're able to derive more defined or divine forms of itself right and within that is the resonance or is the spaciousness that is needed in order to distance yourself uh, within the economy equanimity right uh so so finding the uh, the space in in between the thought constructs right the thoughts are just uh the forms that uh are are reverberating out deeper major constructs that have been uh structured structured into your uh system right because the whole of the system is the soul right uh all the energetical sheaths everything that uh you can possibly bring into your your uh, perceptual being is is the soul right um and we can just start agreeing on anything if somebody especially if somebody's handing it out to us right um But this is all just conceptual, right? Conceptual reality doesn't actually exist, 
because um, this is just a reflection of our perception which is only of an inception right so let me see finding that space in the mental construct so if you go out into society or if you go out into uh, the major industrial constructs of the world at least of the earth plane you're gonna find spaces where you're able to liberate because this liberation is a process that takes place anywhere or nowhere because it leads nowhere um, but it can happen any space and time you don't have to go anywhere is what I'm trying to say to to find the liberated state or, or come into that state of realization because this is just within you or it's just um, it's the nature of your being right so there's the constructs that restrict you or constrict you from being able to uh, deepen the realization of oneself this is already something that is agreed upon uh, and we can we can just point to the industrial way of life because this is uh, constricting things right uh, but if you're able to find little bubbles or little spaces of sacredness within that construct you can easily fall into the state of uh, realization right it just takes a little bit of uh, a settling of the water right you, you, you kind of ripple up um, muddy pond and you find all the sediment it's just floating around you can't see anything this is a uh, dissonance or that's more so you don't have the ability to clarify things because you can't see clearly there's a reason you can't see clearly because there's pollution um, there's many different you can find many different reasons uh, but if you just let it settle once again it comes into a clarity you start to find that reflection the reflective uh, state and once you're able to, to deepen your reflection your self-reflection you start to mirror the self right this is very simple uh, once you start to mirror the self more deeply or just deepen self-reflection your knowledge is gonna fall away because knowledge is conceptual and it doesn't mean anything uh, your wisdom is gonna deepen knowledge is already mental construct wisdom is a little bit different wisdom is more timeless right uh, this is why we, we, we cling to this rather than uh, what we think we know but finding that balance within that uh, that structure that can be restricting or even a, a constriction to your flow of life energy comes simply as you just let things settle as uh, as they are within themselves right by this I mean uh, letting go allowing the feminine femininity energy to arise there's already a, a salt or, or a attack or just an imbalance on uh, the, the, the polarity of energy right for the very fact that the feminine the feminine energy is very very resolving um, 
can easily it can easily find a solution in one equation to uh, what is genocidal right or, or just major major problem to mass so there's a blockage on this right uh, but you can easily find the balance Finding the balance is alignment, alignment with self. That's all realization is, is balance, uh, deepening balance. Entrancement is the passage, right? Uh, for metaphysics, you find that to deepen the experience beyond the physical is to balance yourself until you're able to fall out of it and then you see that it's a rhythm a dance right um, consciousness blossoms and it expands the more that you're able to properly center yourself in your own being, everything is being. We're getting uh, entangled in, in karma, right? We're just compulsively doing a lot of things for no reason or um, because this is how we're programmed, right? Just do chaotic things. Um, with no awareness of anything. And knowledge is what drives the karma as well. Because you can easily say, I know I should be doing this. But um, you can continue in that cycle for lifetimes. And that's not actually what's going to what's that's not actually the liberation and it may not even be consciousness because you can still be in an unconscious state of being the unrealized state um, so dissolving mental constructs is very very important so you can dissolve away the industrial program within yourself by just connecting with the earth even through the industrial way of life because this is found anywhere because it's not something that's happening outside of you because direction isn't direction doesn't exist this is something that just takes place within it blossoms like a flower you can see flowers everywhere blossoming if not a flower because flowers aren't growing because of the industry then you see uh, something taking transformation right this is nature um, you can't escape that even the cessation of being is is still within the in the process of nature um, so being able to find that state of realignment is just a simplification it's a process of simplifying everything up which has been complexified which is the 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 mental complexes the construct right we have uh, apartment complexes we're living in the mental complexes of the apartment complex right they're the same thing uh it's all the same structure because it's all just geometry within that's making up awareness consciousness is geometry uh, which is just form, shapes, which makes up the simulation of world. Um, let me see. So finding the little spaces in in that in the mental construct is where you will be able to uh, distance yourself enough from that very structure, which is causing. Uh, a dissonant reverberation within you as a complex organism or even as a simple system because it can be either or complex or system 
that's simple. Uh, you can make it simple. You can make it complex, right? A complex is uh, a simplex. See, the tetrahedron is a simplex. Our, our light body is a simplex. Uh, a simplexus, right? Which is a star simplex. Within that, you can find very, very complex geometries, which is just consciousness, conscious bodies. Um, and that's pretty much what a complex will be, complexities. Um, and then you find all the manifestations that emanate on the outer of that centricity. But then you can easily just derive uh, the circuitry of simplification, which is just being able to remain in that clarity or that clear state, that realized state of being, you can get lost again. Which may be of a, of a simple way of life as well, right? It just depends on, on which way you look at it. Um, but liberation from the mental constructs is, is dissolving them away. You can destroy the industry this is within the power of you as a being. You comply with it. You can build it. You can do whatever you want because this is your universe. You're the axis of the universe. Um, everybody else is another aperture, right? Uh, by this, I mean it's just a network. You are the network. You get to decide, not as an individual. But as a um, as an organism, dissolving away the boundaries is going to allow you to recede from any type of dominations. If you're constantly being dominated by another organism, you can find yourself leaving. This is simple. It's already been built into you. You have that ability. Um, So just easing up and letting things settle gives you that clarity to make conscious responses within the self. Archetype, right? Or the self state of mind or just a oneness within the state of being. It's very simple. Um, everything's one. That's all there is to be said about it. And then you actually gotta have the experience of this though. This is where it is. Uh, this is where the knowledge fades away. For pure experience. Which is just consciousness. Because you can talk the oneness, you can talk death, but if you haven't experienced it, then it's empty. You're not talking anything that's going to be listened to. So 
so mercify yourself in the experience it's right here now uh, there's nothing to chase you can't chase it chase the feeling you're not gonna get it the feelings are already here it's just waves death and rebirth takes its course the rebirth is the birth of the soul you die as an ego which happens inevitably the ego can't sustain itself because it's a, it's a lesser entity uh, the ego it thri is going to thrive off of all the various different uh, lower vibrational frequencies so you can do anything in bliss you can do anything in fear you can master yourself through anything and that's the ascension uh, the whole process of realization and mastery of oneself through anything or just purely experiencing it doesn't need to be of an investing nature you don't necessarily need to to be a god of anything through your mastery of it or through your investing of it you can uh, allow nature to do it or you can invest in specific things and uh, find mastery in that sense but mastery is inevitable this is just evolution or this is uh, eventually just a revolution which the revolution is the liberation and the realization which happens uh, within right Create distance from the mental constructs. Right, this is uh, extremely simple. What people are 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 uh, entangling themselves in is thought forms, thought waves, the mental constructs, the industry. See, uh, you can observe the industrial way of life. People are compulsively doing things on a routine basis routine state uh, they're entangled in, in a karma in karmic wheel um, in a chakra right so just as people are getting entangled in 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 this uh, in that type of lifestyle they're getting entangled in their thoughts because it's the, it, the thoughts are coming from that environment and then uh, they get all sorts of mental diseases diseases and ailments and sicknesses uh, because they're getting so deeply entangled in 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 that routine which is just simplified down to uh, compulsion or just just reactive reactive reaction reactions right uh, so being able to break that little circuit and 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 develop or uh, redevelop higher circuitries that generate higher states of prana or, or life energy is what is going to help you uh, come back into a higher state of, of life, health, which is, which health is just uh, balance, wholeness, oneness. So anxiety, everything that you can compile into what is considered modern day as a as a 
mental ailment or even a disease, psychological disorder is literally just coming from the state of imbalance because people are just getting too entangled. Uh, but this is Maya, that's what happens, right? Uh, so that it can be a little bit more real. There's duality in that disorder, order, psychological orders, psychological disorders. Um, so going beyond the duality is just unification. Unification comes with dissolving boundaries, dissolving away the ego. The ego is going to play tricks over and over and over and over. Uh, the, the ego is going to keep you going. As long as it can. But the ego, it's a... Uh, it's just an apparition. Right? It's just a ghost. It's an echo. And you're really only getting caught in that echo. Right? It's like you go to a canyon... And then you uh, you start yelling in trance with your own echo at the canyon, in the canyon. And then you get extremely attracted to your own echo. And then you try and chase it and then you jump into the canyon to, to chase your echo. And this is kind of like what the ego is. The ego is just that echo. You're chasing it. But the echo is just an after image or an apparition. It doesn't actually exist. Um, even the even the, the speaker isn't actually existent either. Um, so the more that you access through the center, the more that you're gonna find uh, it's very very easy to to dissolve away as a being. Your action is also just of the echo, the echo of being finds its way into what we're calling action. And then you can find a deeper uh, cessation in that. So then, uh, if you're able to come into the state of, of absolute unity or non-dualistic experience, there's a lot of liberation to that, right? This is where you see uh, this is where you see that everything is just nature. People are there. Because this is the unitary code within the dual, within the binary code. It's like an underlying code of a source or of soul, soul code. Uh, but once again, it's it's just like. Um, that veil is there. It's just like you're not penetrating through a certain membrane with enough momentum of energy to be able to allow for the cosmic influx to completely uh, revitalize your perception within that unity consciousness, right? So then there's obviously the, just duality. You need to align the brain properly so that um, you can actually perceive and experience very deeply the, the, the unity consciousness, cosmic consciousness, Christ consciousness. Uh, you can even say it's Buddha consciousness, holy consciousness, holy, being holy, holy, whole, one. Um, you're just one being, one organism. There's no other person 
and then if you can keep going in that direction until you just die off, right? Which is what you really want to do because this is where uh, bliss this is where you find a wellspring of bliss. And then there's nothing really to be said because it's neti, it's nothing, uh, it's nata, it's nada, right? It's just, um, you can find more pristine states of, of awareness until there's no awareness. Then you come back into the con unconscious. uncollected but that's going to be it for today's video so I do thank everybody for watching once again peace out one love and have a great evening